Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. I get so many things to say. Anyhow, today is part 8 of the super duper best ever lab book, which is this part right here. Because we did this, so now we're doing that. So, to do that, you are gonna need two envelopes plus another 10 because, you know, just in case they don't work out. Those things or cardstock, whatever you working with, that's fine. I'm using those. Scrapbook paper, regular paper, scissors, edging, gluing, pen, definitely a ruler. Sorry, we're gonna have to measure. And we're doing surgery, so you need one of those. Exacto knife or utility knife. You need something sharp, something you're gonna cut with. And here we go. So this is what we are doing. We did this envelope here. I still didn't glue it down. So it's here. I kind of put it here so we got a visual, you know, what's going on here. And then we got the two envelopes. I went ahead and decorated them so we don't have to spend like, you know, three hours doing that. I mean, me anyway, and you watching it. This is the cardstock and those are the little folders right right so i don't know if you're using those if you're using those eventually you're gonna have to resize them which i did because they were too wide so you have to resize them so they kind of you know you get a little bit of a space on both sides but pretty much the width of that page now the other thing is what I did which I didn't do with the in the other one I put them this way and that way right I kept them white plain and this side you know with the grid on it now this time I figure I do it different so I covered the top of the in-between Leo folder, right? Okay, so now I picked one um, scrapbook paper, one pattern, which I thought was good with this. And this is what I'm gonna use for this little strip on the top. And now you do whatever you want, but that's what I wanted to um, go over with you. I used the bottom part to do this because it's only gonna go there and the cords go like so. Okay, I keep the writing on and I put those this way. That's okay. You can do it any which way you want. You can, you know, what is visually pleasant for you. And that was pretty much pleasant for me. So this is what it is. Like this and one more here and the last one right there right and then you get your two envelopes are we just gonna do everything we have to do one goes here one goes there right like this this is what we're doing this being said i am so excited i am so uh, on top of the world because thanks to Every single one of you, I have Le Café Craft, Lil Me, 500 subscribers, you who really, I'm walking on my little cloud, I know there's a song like that, and uh, I'm walking on sunshine, or whatever, I'm walking on it, right? So I'm just like, it's just gonna be a very hectic uh, part eight, because I'm so excited that, you know, eventually I'm not gonna know what I'm, it's gonna be very hard for me to focus, let's put it this way. Now, for giveaway, this week with part eight. I have a whole bunch of old advertisement, all in French because what the heck. So I'm just gonna cut them, resize them, and scan a few of those guys. Okay, so pretty cool, right? Okay, maybe it's those, maybe it's others. I got a whole bunch, so I got to figure this one out. But this is what the giveaway is gonna be. Get that, get that. Now, welcome to all new subscribers. Also, if you 
kind of new here and a little bit confused with the giveaway situation, I will refer you to the video in the list of video which is called intermission because it does explain very well what you have to do to get the giveaway. Also this is the you know description box below which explains everything. So you just check this, you check that and then you will know all about it. Okay. What else I wanted to say? Then 500, we're gonna have to celebrate. I don't know yet what, but we're gonna get to that. And then by then, I will be like, I guess 600, and we're gonna have to celebrate that too. So I guess it's gonna be celebration everywhere. Okay, in the meantime, we're doing this. So, we're just gonna go about it uh, one thing at a time. Anyway, we're gonna put this on the side. Now, those things gonna have to be together before we do anything with them. You do have to take your board. I don't know what you're working on. So you do have to take your board, your page, this one here, here's the envelope, the middle part, and then you have to figure visually how many you want to put in there. Now, if you don't want to do the, the flip up envelope in the bottom, you can just line them up all the way down as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'm not about to stop anybody from doing their own stuff. But if you're gonna put the two envelopes, you're gonna have to figure out lining up your little folders where you reach. In this case, you're gonna have to leave, you know, about uh, from the upper part, about one inch. Yes, about one inch, right? And then I line them right under that first line, kind of. Now there's lines. I mean, if you're using those, there's lines, so they have to be lined up. But I know it's a, it's annoying, but it does help because at least you know you're going straight. You see what I'm saying? Okay, and then you line them up like so. Okay, now this part here, you take this one off, right? This part here is obviously covered. So what you have to figure out is how much you have left here. And this is where I wish, here it is. No, anyway, I'm gonna use that for the time being. You get to figure out how much you need in the bottom here because this is what's gonna go under this, right? Right there. Okay, but that will be under. In this specific case, I got, okay, my total height is what, 12 inches. I got four and a half by six and three quarter. That's my measurement. You get to have something really thick scrapbook paper or cardstock. This is what you need. What I did is I used the same color because there's already, you know, this is kind of busy. I didn't want to, and then we're gonna put so many things in there. So, you know, visually I figure I'm gonna use the same color for everything. Now you don't have to. I cut a strip to put on the top. I mean, you can put this a little bit higher if you want. You get to see that is a, this is a very personal placement because depending on what you have, you have to place those guys. You don't need to put that many if you don't want to. If you think you're good with two, four, five, but call it a day. You get five of them and you're happy. Uh, if you want to put more, like I do, because you know what? More pocket, more fun. So here, right? And then your little envelope go here. Okay, so we take this. We take this and that, put it on the side, put this envelope on the side, and we take this on the side. And now we have this that we get to put together. So, you need some paper. Where is all my, I mean, really, where is all my stuff? I had everything. Oh, I put it here. There we go. All right. So you get your paper, this goes here, and you get those things here, this goes there. You get those, right? Or whatever you're working with. You resize them so they are a little smaller than the width of your board, right? Right, I did that already. I didn't touch the height of it. But if, if you want to, you can, but I didn't because I got 12 inches, so I got plenty of room, okay? You edge everything, which I did. And in this case, I covered every other one on the top, so I have a contrasting color, right? Right. Now, we need to put them together. If you're using this, so it gives you an idea, I measure from, because I don't want anything here, because then this 
like too tight, right? So I took from that first line down and it is about three and a half inches, okay? So three and a half inches by one inch wide. You need those that you're gonna fold in two, like so, because they're gonna go here and then we're gonna put the other one there, right? So you're gonna need two for each cord. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I need that much. Anyway, do a bunch, okay? The height of whatever you're using, if you're using this, but I took it from the line down. Now, you're supposed to angle those the old things. Okay, I never angle right, don't ask. I do it the wrong way. One is to angle, the other one is not angled enough. I solve my problem, I use size large and I round them. Because if you do that, which is kind of foolproof. I need foolproof a lot. Well, it just happened to be perfect, right? See, it does totally the job. So, because you don't want to look at me cutting paper for the next hour and a half, I already got all my little guys here, but I'm gonna glue them like now. Well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get spit up with the miracle of technology. Okay, so, we're just gonna have to pay attention for the first one and the last one. So the first one, which is gonna be this one, it is edge, yes, it is edge. Glue, glue. So it's gonna be glue and repeat and glue and repeat, right? So, here we go. I mean, you could edge this, but you really you don't have to. I mean, it's, it goes really next to the edge of the board, so. All right, and that's one. And we're doing two. And it's just gonna be glue and repeat until you reach the last one, but you're not gonna glue the last one because there's a good reason for that. All right, so now we're putting this one on. And we're gonna put it, no, this one is the first one, so I need to do this one first, and this one I do. Okay, so you know, as usual, for some reason, whatever I do, it's always so confusing. I mean, it's confusing to me, so if it's confusing to you, <laughs> welcome to the world of confusion. I'm sorry, I'm just like, I'm getting into the nick of things because well, we definitely want to finish this last book before the end of this year, don't we? Yes, we do, preferably. Preferably, because this is going on forever now. Now, if you're using that glue, I'm sure you know that, but just in case, because I didn't know that. If you're using that glue and then it start to act up, like it does right now, and then you get like really pasty and it makes bubbles and all kind of stuff like that. You actually have to uh, put a few drops of uh, nail polish remover in it. It's, it's just like new glue. It's like, look at me, I got new glue. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, once I knew that, suddenly my life became easier. I mean, let's put it this way. My relationship with that glue got way better. All right. So now we're gonna glue this here like so because i said i'm gonna leave a little bit of the line here which is kind of a guide and go there now the thing is okay let me how am i gonna explain that you're gonna have to put glue on the side here right and on the bottom part because this bottom part is going to glue itself on the back here so you don't want to put the glue on this because otherwise you're going to have a glue popping up right i don't know if i'm making sense so let's put a little bit mark here and a little mark here right and I'm gonna put glue here. Okay, wait to glue because just in case I just glue it wrong, <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna have angry email like, whoa, you told me to glue and now it's all wrong. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, so you're gonna put the glue to your mark 
then you're gonna take this thing which goes like this and then you're gonna put glue in the bottom part here right now let's see if that works so you line up yourself on those marks and you should be good you flip it because you have like i don't know like five seconds flat to fix it before it dries. okay and now those two are together right and repeat we're gluing this all right you know what i was i shouldn't have never talked about that nail polish remover thing because i think i'm gonna have to do it because this is getting stupid here this is like blubby blub the blubby blub glue okay so we go here and then take another one of those guys put the blubby blub glue oh gosh i'm really gonna have to do it because i think life is not gonna get that easy <sighs> here all right you take this this is supposed to go there so i line up with this line here and on the side flip it make a little mark no i'm not good at all here hold on put it here oh that was because it was the first one but this one okay hold on how does this one works yes it's every other one because i place this one down so when you get to number two obviously is the same because you bring this one back up right right just you know what double check before you do it well we're gonna do it six times so i mean we let's put it this way we'd be professional by the end which means we're never gonna have to do that again it's not in, you know it's like putting a crib together once you get it you could put 10 of them together but you only put one and it's like i don't know so many years later you get to do it again it's like oh, how was that thing already anyway okay but i have to glue here see don't forget to, to put glue on the bottom part because otherwise whatever you're gonna put in there it is gonna disappear and then this one goes here done all right now bam all right so this one is gonna be like this one which means it's gonna go all the way down so we're gonna have to redo see the little mark thing okay first thing first we put the sides on you know, that's, I mean, it's pretty repetitive, but it repeats itself every other card. So, you know, don't be distracted and like me. So I'm not going to talk about anything else right now. I'm just going to pay attention to what the heck I'm doing. And then this way, by the end, we get it right. Like so. And then we put it here. I hope I'm in frame. I hope you can see. I hope I can see. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna relax like when that is kind of done and finished with because okay, I line up myself on the side, I line up myself just under that line right here, flip it over, make a mark, right? I'm gonna put glue. Glue. Be good. This is the new glue. Welcome to the new glue. Okay, up to the mark so I don't have glue all over the place, right? Just gonna glue what we need to glue. Okay, and then glue the bottom part here. Because that needs to be glued. Okay, then place it where it should be. Under that line right there. Line up on the sides. It should be good in the back. Yep, right to that line. Just go like this. Maybe get to go up a little bit. Here we go. All right, so you see where we're going there. Now we need another one. So this one is going to go all the way up, which means it's going to be same level than this one. So we don't have to make mark on this one. I mean, but that's it. After that, you're done, right? So worth it to, you know, do it the right way. I think. Okay, this one. Perfect, and this one goes here, which means it lines up with the bottom, so we're putting glue everywhere. We don't want that to be here. Oh, please, don't be that glue that gives people problems all the time. Come on, oh my gosh. <sighs> Serenity now. There we go, we got glue. All right, glue in the bottom. 
Okay, this is what I'm not talking. I shouldn't be talking. I'm going all the way up there under that line. There we go. All right, this one. This one goes this way and it's gonna go right here. We're gonna have to make marks. I hope it's not too confusing, but you realize one out of two lined up and the other one doesn't. So that's all there is. So pretty much you get to pay attention every other <laughs> every other gluing. One you don't have to think, one you really get to focus. This is what I'm doing. This, this. All right, so what happened after that is that you're done with it because well there's a few good reasons for that all right so this one is gonna go like so so you're gonna have to make the little marks right there let's not forget to put glue on the bottom part here Press, put the glue back on. Okay, now, I totally didn't do that one right. Because that one goes like so. Which means I don't have the glue. All right, that glue is a good glue because you can always take it off. See, now, when you do something silly like that, right? Well, don't feel bad because we do those things too, obviously. All right, so I get to put glue, not here, mind you, but higher, which is under this. Do I have glue under this? I don't think so. I have a little bit rub off of a glue, but... Yeah. All right. Whew. We skip that one. All right, so you got your guys right there. Now, this is the last one. So the last one is gonna go like so. We are gonna put, I wish I had one more. Why is it that I don't have one more? I don't know, here. Cause I cut so many of those. All right, this is the last one. Here we go. Now, this is the last one. I'm gonna put, this on it, but I'm not gonna glue it to the top. And we're gonna take the not for Howard book and figure out why we're not doing that. So you put it there, I mean, glue it on it because otherwise you're gonna look for those two things everywhere and never find them. So if they're already on the cardstock, then you don't have to look for it. This is pathetic, this glue thing. I think, hold on, I'm just gonna Put it upside down, upside down glue, bam. Whoa, do you see how bright that is? And that is because the sun decided to show up. Wow, well, welcome Mr. Sun. So this is supposed to go here, but you take your board, okay? And then you open it. So you get those guys, right? It's like one piece and they're gonna go there. You need to cut your little piece of whatever you're using, right? And put it on the top there. Already kind of round the corner. I took small, small, round the corner. I already edge, I hope anyway. And we're gonna put it right here. Right here, right now, this second. Okay, let's try again. And we do have glue. Okay, right here. Line it up. Nice. Good. Done. Okay. Did we put... Yes, we have this here. So when time come, that's gonna be the assembly line. We're just gonna glue, glue, glue. Glue, glue, glue. Glue right down here. And then we're gonna glue it there. But we're not doing it now because you still need to glue that one on. Actually, you could, but you don't want to, I'm going to explain to you why. This is what happened. In order to hold the envelope, 
So, or maybe you're going to put something here on this one. Or maybe you want to decorate it. Or maybe, I don't know, because this is the front one. I didn't think this is for a guy. You get to keep it, like, you know, slick, right? But in any way, if you glue this thing down, there's not a chance in the world that you're going to be able to put that tab, okay? And, uh, I mean, the, the brad. And then, in order to measure where the brad should be and how long it should be, you need to have the envelopes down. See what I'm getting at? So, you keep it this way with this, and you put it on the side, because now we're going to do the envelope, those. Okay, one other reason why you are not gonna glue this down is because later on we are gonna have to glue those things down. And if you do have the thickness of this and the thickness of the thickness, not the sick, we're not sick yet. Yeah, the thickness of this and the thickness of that, this is gonna get really hard to glue those folders down. Which is why you can put those down at the end, as well as this. There is, you know, some reason to this madness, okay? You have this done here. You have those guys ready to be put down, including the last one. But you're gonna have to figure out if you put a brad, where it's gonna be, put the brads, this and that, right? Once you get your brads and your little, um, you know twirly thing done then that's fine you can glue it down this one but do not glue this assembly on here yet you get plenty time for that right and then also if you want to decorate this put some stamps do you know kind of cool stuff then you can it's not like you know stuck in okay you get my you get what i'm saying okay and then you figure out how much you're gonna need here which i kind of did already so you go a little bit you don't need to do the whole thing you go a little bit higher yeah it's gonna go look like this just visually putting things here so i'm just like like i don't know a quarter inch in that's it no more than that okay so this is gonna be the width of your board, right? Minus a little bit, you know how that works. And about a little bit higher than the end, depending where you put them, of your folders. I sure hope I'm making sense, right? Yes, yes. So we take this, we put this away in the scrapbook pile with the big envelope. And that goes on the side here. Now we're going to take care of this. So this, we're going to use envelopes. We're going to put our flip-up envelopes. The envelopes I use were like, okay, you know when you go to Target and you enter the store, they have like that $1 little section there. That That's where I found those. Those are like, um, you know, I don't know. Thank you thing. It doesn't even say thank you. It's like, it's craft. It's craft looking, craft paper. So, of course, I, I took them. And it's a dollar, so I got a bunch of those. So, you get yourself two envelopes. It doesn't have to be those or specifically. So, I give you an idea. Four and five, eight. But let's say four and a half, right? Because we round up. And they five and five, eight as well. But anyway. This is what they are. Now, for what I wanted, they are, I found them too big. So I kind of cut them off a little bit. Whatever you need, whichever envelope you are using, it doesn't matter. I mean, of course, you get to fit the board, right? So you take this little piece of paper or cardstock, preferably cardstock or really like thick scrapbook paper. I'm still using the this book here haberdashery that's what i'm still using it's kind of thick it's scrapbook paper but it's thick because it kind of coordinate with the big envelope anyway you know those things right okay so you're gonna take your envelope you're gonna take your two envelope and this and this you glue this on then you're done and yes it doesn't have to be straight because this is gonna be covered just saying because some people are like oh, this is not straight no it is not straight it's really hard for me to be straight so here you have it you take your envelope the thing you do is you glue it we glue the envelope all right glue the envelope 
shut. Maybe. I mean, if you have glue, you're already done. I'm just still fighting the whole thing. All right. It's glue down. Right now, I made mine smaller. What did I take off? I mean, you know, you make it like it's visually. Yeah, I took a half inch off. Okay. So let's say we do that. We take a half inch off from the bottom. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you know, half inch. Half inch. Okay. All right. So you, if if they're not if if they're the right height, you don't have to do that. Okay. But that's what I just in case you need to do that. Okay. You take whatever height is not good. You take it off from the bottom part. Done here. You sliver the top. Your top is closed, right? We shut it down. We sliver the top. The slivering. All right, now here you do, you know, if yours works, just go right ahead. If it doesn't do something else, I did, I don't even know where it is now, but I got a little, uh, here, see, I made a little pattern of my, uh, you know, thing that I like so much from the envelope maker thing. So that's what I, I trace it and I cut it. See, I traced it and then I cut it. Now I didn't put it in the middle because I'm not really good at middle. So I put one on this side, one on the other side. Uh, this way, you know, it looks different, right? But anyway, so you do whatever you want to do here. Or, you know, those are your round punch thing. You have them, like those things, right? What is it? Two and a half inch and you can do like little thing here. Whatever you fancy, you do your little thing here. Or nothing, I mean, you don't even have to do anything. Now, from the bottom part, the bottom part here, you're gonna take, that's a half inch, yes. You're gonna half inch and make a mark, right? Make a mark on both sides at a half inch. So, you get your mark from the bottom part of your envelope that you open or sleeve it. You have cut that. You're gonna make an angle from here to your mark, like so. Okay, bam. And you're gonna take your ruler, you line up your half inch on both sides, you pick up one layer, and you put it up. And you do the same thing on the other side. You go from corner to corner, you pick it up. All right, take your bone folder, On both sides okay so this is what you have right you have a little envelope which stand by itself right there cool cool so you do that on the other envelope because you have two of them and this should be closed and cut but you know it's for demonstration purpose right so you do that for your two envelopes now at this point i will say it's a lot easier to decorate your envelope now because you can still do it when they're going to be attached but again it's easier when you can move them and flip them around and what have you right so i decorated two of the envelopes right here now you get to take your board let's figure out the envelope thing you get your top here, you get your little pockets there. You're gonna take that piece that you cut, which is the size of your board, a little bit less, right? So you can glue it down, okay? Now, what you need to do is take your envelope that you cut, right? You cut the bottom part and figure out where they go. So you take the folder, it's a visual thing. I know it's annoying because there is no like magic number to tell you, oh, this is what you do, right? So if you get a cardstock, and they usually, cardstock is usually uh, printed on both sides, so it's not gonna be that easy for you. If you have like cardstock, which like the back side is plain like this one, good that's easier so because you're gonna have to mark it and what you do is you get to figure out where your envelopes are gonna be because you want them to be going on the top of this 
last folder. Okay, this is way too high because I had planned about an inch here. Okay, so you put your envelopes, which is that's two of them. Now, you don't want them all the way in the bottom, no, but you don't want them all the way in the top. So you need to have them kind of like that. And then you will have like a little twirly thing here to hold them. Or a string or whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. But you get to take that in consideration. So, based on that, you figure out where the bottom part of your... When you're happy with the placement, and it's got to be about the middle of it, but right now we're not doing middle, okay? When you're happy with the height of the whole thing, you mark where your envelopes are, the bottom part, right? So you have your bottom part is gonna be here. Okay, so now we don't need this. So, whichever mark you put there, right? In this case, is three quarter, and this one is at one and three quarter. So I got three quarter here and one inch here. But I don't know what you have. It doesn't matter. What you have is what you have. Whichever measurement you have here, you report on this side and then you line them up. So you should have two lines or where your envelopes should be. Yes, they should be here, okay? Whatever the should be is on your table, this is where you trace your two lines. This is where you want the bottom of the envelope to be. Then you figure out the middle of your envelope. You figure out the middle of that piece, which in this case is right here. Then you line them up because you want it to be, you know, like, in the middle of it, in the middle, I mean in the middle of it, okay? And then you make a mark on both sides or where the end of your envelope is. You do that with the other one. I mean, they're the same, but just saying. Now what you have is you have this little intersection right there. And this is where we're gonna cut all the way to there. Yes, so you have the middle of this piece of cardstock that you're putting here. You have situated where you want your envelope to be. You mark the end of your envelope on both sides on those two lines. And now we do surgery. Okay, mask on. Well, we can do that because you know, we got masks. Like I got packs of them everywhere. And I keep forgetting to take them with me. Oh my gosh. I put a gigantic pile in my car. All right, now, we're not gonna do this width or that width. Let's put it this way. If you take your pencil, okay, and go on that line, like so, once or twice. This is about the thickness of what you want to cut, which means your first cup is cut. It's not the first cup. <laughs> did coffee already. The first cut is gonna be on top of the pencil line and the second cut is gonna be under the pencil line, okay? It's not hair thin, but it's like three hairs. Three hair thin, okay? And you stop right here, yes? And you do the same thing here. Line up. And this is where you're cutting, okay? Are we cutting? Yes. So we're cutting the top of the pencil line to that little star here. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, top of the pencil line, bottom of the pencil line. So that makes it a really thin cut. Let's put it this way. If it's too thin, it's a lot easier, but you don't want it, you don't want it too big. Too big is not good, okay? Because it's got to look a little bit like it's a magic thing, you know? Like the envelope is popping up out of nowhere. I mean, if you got a, some kind of a trench there, well, you know. All right, and then nicely, on that little mark that you have here, you're just gonna press it down. Look at that, ha! See, I told you it was surgery. Okay, so don't pull. If it doesn't come out, don't pull. Just go over it again. Because pulling is, in crafting, is like ripping. <laughs> That's the next, the next thing after pulling is ripping. That's what happened. There we go. Now, if everything goes right, and we should hope it does,
this. You take your envelope, you put those two little flaps together, and you insert them in there. Like so. Ta-da! See, this is what happened, right? Now you do number two. Number two. Here you got the top. I mean, it's pretty much repeat what we did, but you know. And the bottom of the. That's what I'm saying. Keep it thin because you don't, you just need the the those two little flap to uh, to slide in. So you don't want a gigantic opening. All right. Now we do this. No pulling. Okay. And same thing here. Ha 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 ha. That is number eight is pretty interesting, isn't it? Okay. Then you put your two envelopes in there. This is one and this is two. Now, once your envelope are decorated and all night, you see what I'm saying? That's why it's better to decorate them and everything before you do that because then it gets like, you know, and sometimes it gets really stupid. Anyway, okay, and you just line them up so it's nice and straight, right? You take your uh, bone folder, you make everything like really flat. Okay, and you keep them that way because that's the way you want you want them to flip up but you want them to be with that incline because that's how they're gonna go so you go in the back and now double check you know what if you want to put clips put clips make sure your two envelopes are lined up well, anyway if we go fast we can still move them i think anyway flip Take the glue. All right, and we're gonna do that one at the time, okay? Here we go. This one first. Now, the reason you wanna keep them that way is because this way, even though they're gonna flip up, but they're gonna have a tendency to lay down in the right direction. That if you glue them when they're standing up, well, they're gonna have that tendency to stand up. But, you know, you wanna stand them up, but you don't want them to just get a mind on their own and stand up by themselves. Right? Right. This one. Oh my god, I cannot believe it is it is doing that again. Okay, and then last one. So, pretty much whatever you're gonna put in those envelopes is not gonna go anywhere, right? So that's cool, because you created a bottom right there. I'm sorry, I got a clue on my fingers. You double check in the front, if you get to correct, you know, one tiny little hair this way or that way, okay? And that's it. You get your flip up envelope. They're gonna flip up and down, right? And this is gonna go right here. So now, what do we have? Part eight. We have this. We have this. We're gonna try to figure out how we're closing the envelope. You get your envelope that you're gonna glue here, right? And here they are, see? And it's all there. Now, again, you are not gluing those things down. Otherwise, you're never gonna be able to glue your folders properly. So, I don't know if I wanna put a tab like this, or, okay, this is the, the other thing about having this loose, because I was thinking maybe I can put a little tab on both sides here, or get a little ribbons going through and tied it up here. See, I don't know. So I don't think I'm gonna make the closing for that. If you know what you wanna do, but I really honestly do not. And I know I can wait because there's no emergency to do that. I would I would love to finish the whole nitty gritty and then we can just like, you know, improvise on one, what we wanna do 
and how you we want to uh so the less you glue down the more possibilities you have to you know change your mind and do it a different way right so pretty much this is what you have right there part eight and leave it that way you know check how does it look with your big envelope next to it i think it looks pretty cool and then when we do the assembly we can go through what do we do to uh all the envelopes i mean it's not like they're gonna go anywhere anyway but just saying do you like it because i think it came out pretty cool i hope i was clear if it's not clear you know what just let me know in the comments i'll go over it next time because we're gonna do about the same things okay the last giveaway i gave that little bag which was all open so you could cut it out if you wanted to okay i have to say thank you kelly because kelly put a comment saying oh they're in walmart and i went like duh that's where i put them to start with but that was like six months ago so who's got to remember okay those little bags that i'm using they are in walmart i mean i had to go through two walmart to find them but they are in walmart and they're 97 cents a pack so i mean you can splurge if you want to so okay and what does it say it says three inch by four inch bam see i don't even have to measure okay so that's the story for the paper bags now if you're making the paper bags which i did because before i had that information i was like all right well i'm just gonna have to do my own paper bag and i did a whole bunch of them and they are nowhere to be seen really nope 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 they're not there i mean i made a whole bunch of them all right bear with me oh here they are all right if you're making your own little paper bag which is actually pretty cool because I made a bunch of them. And I think on the scan I wrote down, do not assemble the bottom part. You get to leave them open, okay? Because we're going to do the same thing that for the envelope, we're going to need that little flip thing so they're going to be able to stand up. Now, the only thing is we're going to have to add on the other side because they don't have the other side. And if you use those, the uh, Walmart category thing is going to be the same thing. Because see, when you're going to un undo them, which means to undo the the little flap you cannot cut them because then it gets it, they start to be so small so you want to keep as much length as you can you're just gonna open that bottom part and then we're just gonna line them up and same thing you know flip them up anytime we want well anyway i wanted to say that i wanted to say they are in walmart and they're 97 cents for a bag of 24 24 24 bag for 90 97 cents i mean really life is great all right so but maybe you're gonna have to scout different walmarts because the first one i went they didn't have any anyhow so that was that i think we went over everything i wanted to say how is we got 500 subscribers this is so hysterical thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to every single one of you because without one of you it wouldn't be 500 it would be 499 and you know how stressful that is oh, right so number 500 is patty postcard so i thought well if you call yourself patty your first name's got to be patricia and i thought <laughs> i mean it couldn't have been any better than that so because you know patricia's are pretty fantastic i mean everybody else is but you know they're like special um but as i said without one of you any one of you it will only be 499 so here you go we are all very important people. Yes, we are VIPs. Okay, so we did this, we did that. Please do not glue anything down yet. And this, do not glue the last one on the top because maybe we're gonna hook something to hold on to those, but we don't know, I don't know yet. Maybe you do, so if you do, just, and you know what, go right ahead, do it, I don't. And this is gonna go here, and I'll, I'm liking it. Oh, let me just go a little bit crazy with the thing here. So I put some French writing from postcards or everything, and then I cut out some little things, so I can also put something in here, and something in there. 
This is what I'm saying. That thing is gonna have so many pockets. And same thing with this one. It's got the little things you can put in here and the envelope. So this page, this has got two pockets here and it's gonna have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you telling me this lab book is not ephemeral storage? It's written all over the place. Anyway, so here, all right? And I'm happy, you're happy, I'm happy, I am so happy. I don't even have any words to describe it. I am so happy. Oh, and ephemera, I'm gonna start doing that. We're doing those old commercial, right? Of things that don't even exist anymore. How cool is this, right? Okay, happy making, happy crafting. See you next time, bye.